What's up, Wargamers? Welcome back to World of Wargaming. I'm Isaiah. Today, we're going to be taking a look at how to build a unit to play the Silver Bayonet. Now, I do apologize if my light is off or if there is any background noise. I am not in my normal filming location. I am filming from some beautiful North Carolina beaches down here on the Outer Banks. I had to show you all this, but that's not why we're here. Let's get back to the good stuff. That's right. I'm taking a break from the sand and the sun and the shore to make sure that you guys out there get some content. So, Silver Bayonet. If you've played any of Joe's other games, this one works very, very similarly. The first thing you will do in the process is to create an officer. Much like in Rangers of Shadow Deep, you start with 100 recruitment points. Now, like Rangers, your officer does not count towards that point limit. So when you start off, there are three things that you need to do to your officer first. One is that you can either increase their melee or accuracy by one. Again, melee is for hand-to-hand, -hand. accuracy is for shooting in this game. Much like in Rangers, you can increase your speed or health by one, and you can increase your courage by one or your recruitment by five. But still, you can only go up by five. In Rangers, you can go up by a lot more than five. I think you can go up by 10 for each, each point you sink into it. Uh, and that sets your, your starting stats off of the base stat line for the officer, which is right here. So you, the base stats are 6, 1, accuracy 1, defense 14, courage 2, health 12, and 100 recruitment points. Uh, once you've got that done, we move on to the next part, which are attributes. You get two of them when you start out. And you may select any attributes on the list that are marked with an O after their name. So you can take regular ones, and you can also take the ones that have the O, which are officer-specific ones. Your attributes are towards the back of the book, if I'm not mistaken. Behind that. Yes. So here are our attributes. There's a fairly large number of them, and they're good. These attributes are a great way to kind of fill out the backstory of your officer and where he came from. So my officer is Nikolai. I've given him great faith and indefatigable. That word is hard for me to say. Great faith is one of the officer only ones and it, because of his extremely strong faith in the higher powers, his weapons always count as blessed. And blessed is uh, one of the keywords that really only matters against certain enemies. Um, and they'll, they'll have it list in their allergen section. There's a lot of the keywords in here where if you, you'll see them but there's not really a section for the keywords. They are dependent entirely upon whether or not a particular monster has an allergen or some other attribute that relates to that keyword. So you don't go searching for the keywords. I did that when I was starting into Rangers and it threw me for a loop until I learned that the keywords only matter when their corresponding keyword is on a monster stat block. Then you move on to your equipment and like in Rangers, you have six equipment slots. I mean, you can carry a maximum of six items listed in the general armory or the special armory. Starting officers can take it from anywhere, and you're allowed to pick two items from the special armory, and you don't have to fill up all six slots. Like, I think it's probably actually good to not fill up all six slots. That way, if you run across a piece of loot or something that you can pick up, you have an empty bag slot to do so. On Nikolai, my officer, I took two pistols, because that's the way he's modeled, and that's, that's both from General Armory. And then from the special armory, I use my items for both iron shot and silver shot. So no matter if I'm shooting at something that has an iron allergy or a silver allergy, which in my opinion are probably two of the most common allergies in the game, I've got something to help me with that. And then I've got a hand weapon because he is modeled with a saber and an empty spot so that I can pick stuff up and carry it if that potential arises. And then at the end of that section, it will give you all the stats for the various weapons. This is page 23 and I highly recommend putting a tab or a bookmark of some kind on this specific page when you are getting started with this game because you will need this table of what does what for at least the first few games and then it's not a very long chart you will learn it very fairly quickly but it's nice to be able to get to it immediately when you need it and not have to waste valuable game time flipping through pages. When it comes to the special armory which is for the most part there are some items and there are some things that are amendments to items. So for example, a silver weapon would just be an upgrade to an existing hand weapon that you already have. We then come to selecting soldiers. And you can have up to seven, but you cannot exceed your recruitment points, which is at 
least 100 and at most 105, as I just learned. Even though I had highlighted the statement, I still still mess that up, but it happens. It'd be like that sometime. Uh, each first thing here is uh, recruitment list. So you would have to find your nation. So for me, I'm playing the Russian unit. And these are all the different things that you can choose from to add to your list. And then it's a very simple process of going through, choosing what you want, totaling up the recruitment points until you hit 100 points or 105 points. Now with selecting your units, you can take a unit that is not on your country's list. You can only take one and you have to pay double for them. So I don't really think that it's worth it for anything beyond rule of cool and narrative, which are both very, very important, but you also don't want to cripple yourself to the point where you have so few bodies that you can't do the job. Now, with your soldiers, they come with what they have. It will tell you. So for example, a guard has the supernatural veteran attribute and he comes with a musket and a cartridge box. As you are selecting weapons for your officers, and for your officers specifically, if you give them a rifle or something, make sure you should double check that description because you will also have to give them either a cartridge box or a ball. Nope, nope, not gonna say what I almost said there. Shot bag. Shot bag is the other thing that you might have to give them. So like my pistols, for example, specifically say that they do not need additional equipment in order to reload. Whereas a, where's the blunderbuss? Uh, Nor's one level must also carry a shot bag in order to reload a blunderbuss. So just make sure you, you read through the full item description and make sure you equip yourself with everything you need to actually use the equipment because I uh, may have made that mistake my first time through. And once you got everybody set up, you are ready to get into playing the game, which will be the next topic that we talk about with the silver bayonet. Now, before I leave you all for today from this short video, I wanna show you, take a look at my unit. Unfortunately, I do not have the models with me, but you'll see them later this week, maybe next week. Sometime shortly after this, you'll get to see the models. With Nikolai, my officer, who has great faith, indefatigable, two pistols, iron shot, silver shot, and a hand weapon. Moving on to Mikhail, an infantryman, with a musket, a cartridge box, and silver shot as his special item. Again, the, I, don't know if I may have forgotten to mention this, but when you select your soldiers, they each get one item from the special armory. I have Baba, who is an occultist, has spells and supernatural veteran, a hand weapon, and a holy symbol. We have Boris, the combat engineer, with a musket, a cartridge box, a heavy weapon, and torches. We've got Vasily, the rifleman, with a rifle, a cartridge box, and a salt bag. Vladimir, the doctor who has the medic attribute along with a hand weapon, a pistol, and oil and torches. And Grigory, the werebear who has skin shift bear, a heavy weapon, and a silver weapon. And something that I did my second time through is it's good to vary your special, your items from the special armory. I don't think it's good or helpful to you to have an entire team with nothing but silver. Yes, it could be fun in the narrative aspect to say, you know, well, they're specifically designated to hunting these specific things that are have allergens to this material, but in gameplay terms on the table, it's going to put you at a pretty severe disadvantage in some missions where you're not fighting something, though. you know, you're not necessarily fighting something that's allergic to silver. You may be fighting something that's allergic to enchanted weapons or blessed weapons or to fire. And the oil and torches are a good one because there's a lot of things that are allergic to fire. Like it's helpful in a lot of situations. Uh, but that does it. Thank you so much for coming, hanging out with me at the beach for a minute while we put together this unit from the Silver Bayonet. I hope you have an absolutely amazing rest of your day. And as always, I'd like to say a big, huge, from the bottom of my heart, thank you to our patrons who support us and pledge to us over on Patreon. You guys are the absolute best. If you enjoyed the content you saw here today and that's something that you would like to consider doing to help out the channel, go over there, check out the link in the description, check out the Patreon. There's a lot of cool stuff over there, including access to our Discord server, talk to me, hang out with me talk about our work, what we got going on in the hobby. Um, 
some shout outs, all kinds of cool stuff. Check it out if that's something that you think you would be into. And regardless of whether or not you do that, I want you to know that I am incredibly grateful that you decided to stop by and spend part of your day with me today, rolling dice and pushing toy soldiers around. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And as always, may the dice be ever in your favor.